And one of my favorite stories by Dr. Seuss is about food. If you like to eat food, raise your hand. I bet you have a favorite food. If you can think of a food that makes your mouth water and your tummy say, yes, yes, yes. And if it came your way on the table, you wouldn't even bother with your knife or fork. You'd put your pinky in it and just go. <laughs> if you have a food you like that much, think about what it is. I think mine is chocolate cake or maybe macaroni and cheese or maybe cupcakes, pancakes, broccoli. Now let's talk about food that we do not like. If you have a food that when it comes your way on the table, you want to say no thank you for the rest of my life, you can admit it today. You are with friends. When I was little, I did not like oatmeal and I did not like mashed potatoes. I did not like food that was the color white. But my mother knew my favorite color was purple. So she would take food coloring and she would turn whatever food I didn't like a shade of purple. I would eat it. You know why? It tasted purple. So when a man came over to our house, I thought it would be delicious because it was my favorite color. Well, my mother had never cooked an eggplant before, and my dad was going to ask the man who brought the eggplant if he could borrow some money from him that night. And he said to my mom, you should cook the eggplant so he knows that we like him. So my mother was in the kitchen, and she had out her cookbook, and she was trying to figure out how to cook the eggplant. She sliced it up, and she put it in the frying pan. But I looked. When it was in the frying pan, it wasn't purple anymore. It turned kind of a mushy greenish brown. And then she put everything in the frying pan on a plate and she brought the plate to the table and she took a big heaping portion and put it on my plate. And she said, take a bite of the eggplant. It's delicious. Well, I took a big forkful. It didn't look purple anymore. It didn't smell purple anymore. And when I put it in my mouth, it did not taste purple at all. It tasted so bad. It was so bitter. I couldn't even keep it in my mouth. I spit it out. It went flying across the table and it landed splat right on the forehead of the man who brought the eggplant. And then it slid all the way down his nose. Bloop. My mother's face turned red. She grabbed she brought me into the kitchen and she was whispering but her finger was shaking like this and I remember thinking no one is gonna make me eat eggplant ever 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 again well many 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 years later I moved from Minnesota where I grew up to New York City and a friend of mine said we have to go to Staten Island they make the best Italian food there their eggplant Parmesan is so delicious and I said to my friend I've never liked eggplant. Well, my friend ordered it. He took a big forkful and he said, take a bite of the eggplant. It's delicious. I took a bite. It was delicious. It tasted like pizza. And I thought, all these years, it took all these years to change my mind about one food. In Dr. Seuss's book, Green Eggs and Ham, he changes his mind about a food in a skinny little book. We're going to tell that story together. I need your help, though. Could you show me your hands? And I need you to say these words with me. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. It's a lot of words. Show me your hands. You might want to take a deep breath. Here we go. <laughs> I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. Ooh, that's Sam I am. Ooh, that's Sam I am. He says to me, do you like? I say, do you, do you, do you like uh, <gasps> green eggs and ham? said, ew. <gasps> well, help me out. Please show me your hands. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. He said, oh, but would you eat them here or there? I said, I would 
not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. Show me your hands. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am, he said, oh, but would you eat them with a mouse? Would you eat them in a house? I said I would not eat them with a mouse. I would not eat them in a house. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. He said, oh, but would you eat them with a fox? Would you eat them in a box? I said, I would not eat them with a fox. I would not eat them in a box. I would not eat them with a mouse. I would not eat them in a house. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. He said, oh, but would you eat them in a car? Eat them, eat them, here they are. I said, I would not eat them in a car. He said, you may like them, you may see. <laughs> you might like them in a tree. I said, Sam, please let me be. I would not eat them in a car. I don't care where they are. I would not eat them in a tree. I do not like them, don't you see? I would not eat them with a fox. I would not eat them in a box. I would not eat them with a mouse. I would not eat them in a house. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. He said, oh, but would you eat them with a goat? I said, I would not eat them with a goat. He said, oh, but would you eat them on a boat? I said I would not eat them on a boat and not with a goat. I would not eat them in a car. I don't care where they are. I would not eat them in a tree. I do not like them, don't you see? I would not eat them with a fox. I would not eat them in a box. I would not eat them with a mouse. I would not eat them in a house. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. He said, oh. Say it together. Oh, you do not like green eggs and ham? <laughs> so you say, take a bite. Just try them and you may. Oh, I said, Sam, well, if you let me be, all right, I'll try them, but you will see. And so I took out my fork. Can you take out your fork? I took a little egg. I took a smidge of the ham. I put the end of the fork with the food on it in my mouth. Go ahead, put it in your mouth. Chew it so you don't choke. Go ahead and swallow it. Oh! Feel free to rub your tummy. You can.
not lick her lips. <gasps> Let's take another bite. Take out your fork, a little egg, a little ham in your mouth. <gasps> oh, you have a little egg on your cheek. You might want to get it off there. <gasps> Say, I like green eggs and ham. <laughs> oh my, I like them. Sam, I am. You know, I would eat them on a boat. And I would eat them with a goat. And I would eat them in a car. Oh, so good, so good they are. And I would eat them in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. And I would eat them with a fox. And I would eat them in a box. And I would eat them with a mouse. And I would eat them in a house. And I would eat them here or there. Say, I would eat them anywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you, thank you, Sam I am.